dear students welcome to this mooc mooc stands for massive open online course in this mooc we shall be providing you a variety of multimedia enriched e content activities and assessments in a very learner friendly manner so that you are able to understand the various topics of this course very well let me now tell you briefly about the structure and main features of this mooc the entire mooc has been divided into various weeks so that you can plan your learning in a very logical and systematic manner it is advised that you must actively participate in the various components of this mooc that to regularly on a weekly basis for every weekly schedule you are first advised to watch 2 to 4 videos assigned to you per week then you must read the learning material provided as e text and also go through other content in the learn more section after this you are advised to carry out the various activities like taking part in the discussion forums visiting the related web links which we have provided for you attempting crosswords etc earmark for each week after this to test your knowledge of what you have learned during this week you must attempt the quiz in the assessment section for that particular week i wish you all the best in this very interesting self learning experience please remember we shall always be there with you to provide you support for any problems you face the mooc coordinator along with junior faculty as tutor shall always be available to solve your queries which you can post in the discussion forums or you can send them to us through mail which shall be notified to you soon we would be very happy to know your experience after the completion of this mooc in the form of your feedback which will help us enhance the quality of this mooc further dear students after understanding the general structure of mooc and how you will proceed in this particular course let us now understand the weekly structure and what all you will be learning in this course on organic spectroscopy by the mooc coordinator professor divan s rawat dear students welcome to this course on organic spectroscopy this course which you are supposed to complete in 15 weeks has been developed in a very systematic and logical manner in the first two weeks you shall be introduced to the underlying concepts of uv visible spectroscopy its instrumentation woodward fisher rule and the application of uv visible spectroscopy the third and fourth weeks shall emphasize upon the basic principle of infrared spectroscopy its instrumentation factor affecting vibrational frequencies and also the characteristic vibrational frequencies of various functional groups it deals with the absorption of radiation in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum ir spectrum gives a sufficient information about the structure that is identification of functional group of a compound and can also be used as an analytical tool to assess the purity of a compound ir spectroscopy has a plethora of applications in our daily life too we shall also discuss the same in details week 5 lays focus on nuclear magnetic resonance a technique ideal for solving the problems of identifying an unknown chemical compound to a large extent this technique is based on the fact that nuclei of certain atoms have a magnetic properties that can be utilized to yield chemical information it is thus 
crucial to understand the mechanism and chemistry surrounding that nuclei and to know how shielding and deshielding occurs in a compound. In this week, the main concept of NMR and its instrumentation, sample handling, concept of chemical shift, its measurement, factor affecting the chemical shift shall be undertaken in a great deal. The concept like spin-spin coupling, 1HNMR chemical shift for common functional groups along with the simplification of first and second order spectra form the basis of week 6 and 7. Eighth week shall be the self-study week for you. In this week, you are supposed to revise what you have learned in this course. We will give you one subjective and one objective assignment which you are required to complete in a given time. Please note that the marks obtained by you in these assignments shall count towards your grades in this course. For obtaining an NMR spectra, one need to have NMR active nuclei in the sample. The study of NMR spectroscopy of nitrogen, phosphorus and fluorine nuclei thus forms the important area of discussion. Week 9 and 10 begin with the discussion of these topics along with the application of 1HNMR spectroscopy, structural illustration of some spectra and understanding the concept and application of 13C NMR spectroscopy. We shall also be talking about some advanced NMR techniques in these two weeks. The weeks 11 and 12 shall cover the concept of another very important technique useful for the illustration of structure of unknown compounds, I mean mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry is an analytical tool used to determine the relative masses of molecules and its fragment by calculating the degree of deflection of charged particle in the magnetic field. It provides a great deal of information with very small amount of samples. These two weeks shall provide detailed information about the instrumentation, basic concept, important terms in mass spectrometry and also general rules for fragmentation in the mass spectrometry. The last two weeks, week 13 and week 14 involve a wholesome treatment of the entire spectroscopy uh, topic by taking up the combined problems involving all topics of spectroscopy. These problems takes up all aspect of spectroscopy and provide you an ideal platform for testing your knowledge, skills gained over the past weeks of studying spectroscopy. The 15th week, self-study week 2 for you. In this week, you are supposed to revise what you have learned in this course. After the completion of this course, there shall be a protector examination about which you shall be notified at appropriate time. Dear students, I am sure you will find this course very interesting and enjoyable. Please go through the entire e-content which includes both self-learning videos and e-text very thoroughly and performs the various activities and assignments of this course sincerely. I am quite confident that going through this course shall be a great self-learning experience for you. I wish you all the best.